Hi, and welcome to the Weekly News. I am Brian McNichols, as always, from touringplans.com. And since you're watching this, why don't you check out touringplans.com? We do lots of great tools. If you're visiting Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Universal, Orlando, or Washington, D.C., we have a lot, tons of information. We have touring plans that will tell you which rides to ride in what order, save you a ton of time. It's a really great service. Uh, I am biased, but that's still the truth. And check out all our other videos on our YouTube page. I missed a couple last week. Um, okay, let me explain why. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me show you why. I live in Pennsylvania, and we got uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of two to two and a half feet of snow last week. So my kids had the entire week of school off. So that is why there was no news last week. So let's get into it. Not a ton of stuff happened in the last week. Disney is really uh, just gearing up their Pandora World of Avatar push for the end of May, Memorial Day weekend. We have heard they may even start doing soft openings. Soft opening is when they basically open the park, but it's not officially open. It's only open for a few hours, just basically to test all the new stuff, make sure it can handle the numbers of people that they're going to be dealing with. So those soft opens we hear might actually start as early as the end of April. Now that's just kind of a blue sky wish by Disney, so it may or may not happen. So there's been a ton of stuff. They did a bunch of news spots. The one you're looking at right now is from Nightline and ABC. And as you can see, the Pandora world just looks gorgeous. Uh, there's a ton of waterfalls, a ton of plant life. We also got details this week about the Satuli Canteen. Uh, these names, man, are, are gonna, gonna kill me. A lot of apostrophes in them. Satuli Canteen will be the main dining area. It will be quick service, but it will also be uh, basically fast casual, which is a term that's kind of taken off in some of the bigger cities in America, at least on the East Coast. Fast casual is um, if you have a Chipotle, uh, Mexican grill, where you are, think like that. At each level, you get different choices to put on top of it. Uh, the, it, it looks pretty good, as you're seeing right now. Um, this dessert is, is kind of crazy looking, and I'm not sure exactly what that one is. On our blog, that's blog.touringplans.com, we just did an everything you need to know about Pandora. It explains all of this stuff. It has pictures. It even has some stuff that um, was sort of released in all the news videos they did uh, that maybe they didn't highlight as much as, say, we do. Last, and certainly not least this week, we got a little bit of a Star Wars Land preview. Disney put out this video that shows, now these two big metal contraptions are supposed to be adats. Uh, All-terrain armored transport, I believe, is what they stood for. They were are best known from the movie The Empire Strikes Back, the Hoth battle scene in the beginning where we had the snow speeders flying through. Later on, these uh, AT-ATs were actually enclosed in the building as spotted by some eagle-eyed uh, spies out in Disneyland, at least. So the thought now is that the ride itself will actually take you uh, either through, around, you know, between these AT-ATs. But uh, we have until 2019 to wait for anything from Star Wars Land. So, long wait. And that's it for this week. I will be back next Wednesday with more news, uh, probably more stuff about Avatar, hopefully something else. Volcano Bay at Universal Studios will be opening. That is their new water theme park, water park. Um, that is also opening Memorial Day weekend. They've started to, to put out some details about that. I'll show you some of that uh, next week probably, but we'll definitely be covering that. We're going to move over, do some more Universal stuff. Uh, until then, check out the rest of our YouTube because I missed last week and because I moved up my top five video to Tuesday, yesterday, March 21st, there are now three top five videos since the last time I did a news. We've got Disney Springs table service, top five in park bars, and the one I put up yesterday is something near and dear to my heart and that is the Africa section at Animal Kingdom. It is one of my favorite sections in all of theme parks, second in fact to Diagon Alley at Universal Studios. And I tell you my top five reasons why I love it. So go ahead, check that out, subscribe to YouTube, and be excellent to each other.